Ken Cuccinelli is known across the country now because of his anti-sodomy, anti-oral sex views. Now, he's been justifiably mocked across the country because of these views, but don't think that just because he's against sodomy and blowjobs and things like that, that he's some sort of comic figure. No, he's actually a pretty bad guy when you look into some of the things that he's said. So here is a radio interview that Ken Cuccinelli engaged in back in 2012. Uh, it was on the conservative radio show The Morning Majority. I have a feeling whatever views are espoused on there are not the majority views. But anyway, um, he was talking about D.C.'s pest control policies. Now, he's actually wrong on the substance here, but I'm not so much worried about the substance as the rhetoric. Listen to what he says. They have to relocate the rats. And not only that, that's actually not the worst part. They cannot break up the families of the rats. So anyway, it is worse than our immigration policy. You can't break up rat families or raccoons and all the rest. And you can't even kill them. It's unbelievable. Now, to play devil's advocate, perhaps what he's saying there, as horrendous as it is, is only that, thankfully, with our immigration policy, we can break up the families. And so maybe the most offensive thing that he's saying there is just that he thinks it's fine to take uh, immigrant families and break them up and send some back down to Latin America, South America, wherever they came from, and leave some in America. Um, that's devil's advocate. It's just that horrendous. More likely, it's revealing what he actually thinks about immigrant families. The fact that he is mixing them up so casually with killing rats and raccoons and other sorts of pests, that should raise some warning signs for you if you're considering voting for Ken Cuccinelli in the near future. Um, after all, he is going for, uh, for governor of, of uh, Virginia. Pretty important uh, state there, especially as it has been in the last couple electoral cycles, somewhat of a swing state from time to time, or at least it could be in the future. Um, so as we continue to debate immigration reform across the country, once again, a very high profile Republican is revealing what he actually believes about the people that would be affected by these policies. He believes that it's fine to throw them into conversation in the same breath as talking about wiping out families of rats and raccoons. I understand that when you speak for long periods of time, especially on the radio, you can slip up from time to time. I'm sure that I do it as well. But I don't think that it's a mistake here. I think that he is very specifically using this rhetoric to appeal to the conservative audience of the morning majority because they like the idea of these immigrant families being treated, being compared to pests, because that's exactly what they see them as. Once again, as I said, the actual policy implications, the monetary implications of immigration reform are not what are driving many of these Republican politicians. At the very least, some of their, their base, they think, will be riled up by the sort of xenophobia, the demonizing of the actual immigration, of the, the individuals who would be affected by immigration reform, and you should not support this. This is horrendous. You cannot talk about immigrants and rats in the same sentence and think that you're going to get away for, with it, at least on this program.